Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do a makeup tutorial on this look. Uh, it's a very bronzy, summery, sultry look. Uh, I know it's way past uh, summer, but I just wanted to play with makeup. And yes, of course, in this video, I've used a lot of products that I love using these days. So I just wanted to do this video. Uh, so if you want to see how I created this look, then keep on watching. Taking the MAC Fix Plus, I'm just adding some moisture to my face uh, to prep it. Thereafter, I'm going in with the MAC Prep and Prime uh, as my primer to minimize pores and give it a smooth finish. After that, I'm taking the MAC uh, Studio Fix Fluid Foundation. I'm in the shade NC35. I like this foundation because it's very lightweight, yet it gives coverage and also it's not too drying but still uh, really good for oily skin. I'm just using this uh, Junoko sponge and uh, just blending it out thereafter I'm taking the foundation and dragging it toward to my neck area as well don't forget to match your neck with your face and using this concealer I'm applying it under my eyes the bridge of my nose cupid's bow chin forehead wherever you want to brighten your face uh, you can use a shade similar or lighter one shade lighter and then just blend it out using your brush or blender I'll go in again with the concealer under my eyes for more coverage. You can use a corrector if you have like really dark circles before applying your foundation. I didn't feel like I require it. That's why I didn't go with the corrector and using it to cover the dark areas around my mouth as well and to highlight my cupid's bow and then just blending it out to give a nice haven finish. Taking the RCMA translucent powder, I'm lightly baking under my eyes and wherever I apply the uh, concealer to set that area. Uh, not going in with too much, uh, otherwise it will look crazy. And uh, this powder is really good, it doesn't give you that whitish effect. Taking the Rimmel eyebrow pencil in the shade dark brown. The shade might look a little bit off right now. When I was purchasing it, this was the only shade that was available then. But once you apply it and then just comb through your uh, eyebrow it looks perfect and i really love this eyebrow pencil taking the benefit give me brows uh, i'm just going to set my eyebrows in place and i really enjoy this now going in with the hula bronzer i'm going to add some warmth to my face and chisel my face i enjoy this bronzer and the brush that comes with it it it's so easy to use uh, and since it's a very bronze, sun-kissed uh, look, I'm not, uh, you know, limiting myself and going in liberally with this uh, contour. Actually, this is a bronzer come contour, uh, but I use it as a contour. And now going in with the uh, Maybelline Compact Powder, I'm just going to take off the baking and just set my face Taking the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. I just love the smell of this. It's so divine and it adds the right amount of warmth. What we're looking for in the sun kiss look. You can see how obsessed I am with this. And just having a gala time. Honestly, I'm just a sucker for this bronzer. I love, love this. Going in with the Maybelline Master Chrome Molten Golden Highlighter, that's a mouthful. I'm applying it on the uh, bridge of my nose, cupid's bow, cheekbone, under my eyebrows. So this is one of my favorite highlighters. Taking the Makeup Revolution I Heart Chocolate Palette, I'm taking the brown shade Girl Boss, applying it and using a blender brush uh, over my eyelid, not taking it above the crease. Now going in with the dusty pink shade Aho in a tiny blending brush, just uh, blending out the edges. Using MAC Fix Plus, I'm just spraying it on the shader brush, taking the bronzy coppery shade called Check, applying it over the first half uh, of my eyelid. Just blending it out nicely and then going in with the Girl Boss shade in a blending brush, it just blending out any harshness now going in with the aho shade and just blending out the edges to make it all seem even 
Now taking this dark brown shade back up using a brush I'm just placing it in the outer corners to deepen it. Going in with the uh, girl boss shade I'm just applying it over the lower lash line and then deepening the edges using the backup shade that's the deep brown shade. Now taking this highlighting shade hold up I'm applying it uh, in the inner corners as well as in the brow bone area. Uh, this is the eye look. Now going in with the Nykaa blush in the shade Bombshell, I'm swirling it around both shades and applying it over the highlighted area as well as on top of my cheeks. I like it when you apply blush above your highlighter giving that ethereal glow. Taking the eyelash curler, I'm just curling my lashes. This gives more definition to the eyelash. Uh, after this, if you apply the mascara, it just even, you know, holds up nicely. I love this mascara. Uh, from Maybelline. It has to be my current favorite and it gives you nice volume as well as lengthens your lashes. I'm not applying falsies with this look. Now going in with the Nykaa uh, lip liner in the shade Pillow Fight and this is a perfect nude shade for my skin tone. It's a very pretty pink nude shade. Applying the Face of Time Pro Matte Lip Crayon in the shade Kashmir. To give my lips some glow, I'm adding the Fenty Gloss Balm in the shade Fenty Glow. I love, love this gloss. And fixing everything with MAC Fix Plus. And using my sponge to dab off the excess. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Uh, you don't necessarily have to use the products that I use. You can use any alternative. Uh, the whole idea was to create a bronzy summery look. This is also, you know, uh, party appropriate. So uh, if you did like the video, give it a big thumbs up. If you're new to my channel and like what you saw, then consider subscribing. I'll see you in my next video. Until then, stay happy, stay beautiful. Thank you. We are my eyes.